Each day, a wide range of incidents occur, some of which may be explained intellectually and others that are beyond human comprehension. Some go into further detail regarding humans, their origins, brains and history. Some of these aid us in problem solving. The rest of the evidence, especially the astronomical findings, adds to the doubt. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three new discoveries and the stories behind them. A single bee is creating an army of clones. The increasing eternal cloned armies of competing subspecies of honeybees causes hives of the African lowland honeybee to fail. Research has uncovered a distinct honeybee species that can make flawless replicas of itself and then use those replicas to infiltrate competitors' hives. When a female cape honeybee lays an egg, scientists observed that she does not reorder her DNA. This enables it to manufacture flawless clones of itself every time it propagates, therefore making it immortal. Over the last three decades, scientists have uncovered one honeybee in this subspecies that has created huge amounts of clones. In the journal Publications of the Royal Society B, researchers examining this strange occurrence released a report detailing their findings. The study's principal author, Benjamin Oldroyd, a professor of behavioural genetics at the University of Sydney, stated it's fantastic yet at the same time it's tremendously disordered. During a process known as recombination, the DNA of the parents is often mixed up. So, despite having just one parent, the offspring's genetic makeup differs. The South African Cape Bee, on the other hand, appears to make flawless duplicates of its DNA whenever it reproduces. The worker's capability to clone freely puts their colonies in an even more vulnerable situation, particularly once the queen disappears or dies and the existing social system crumbles, making the honeybees a bit more of a concern for their colony and competing beehives. Workers will devote their efforts to greedy plans, like looking for ways to put their clones in power positions rather than devoting their energy towards getting the colony back on the right track. If you remove the queen rather than raising a new queen like all other bee species, these bees will only start breeding on their own, Aldroyd explained. There's also cells called queen cells, in which the queen lays the eggs enclosing potential queens. A worker can jump in from another colony, or for one of the existing workers in that colony to come and supplant that queen egg with one of their replica eggs, allowing them to be biologically reborn as a queen. Now the research teams have figured out how the workers pull off their strange cloning stunt, they are struggling to figure out just how queens turn on the recombination gene and also how workers turn it off. They would also like to look at the African lowland hives that have been parasited by Cape bee workers to see what causes the beehive to disintegrate. Huge Antarctic Lake has suddenly disappeared. Because of climate changes, a massive ice lake in East Antarctica vanished in less than one week, dumping close to 26 billion cubic feet of water into the ocean reveals new research. The unprecedented melting incident of the Amory ice cap, which happened mostly during Antarctic winter in June 2019, was tracked using sonar pictures. Scientists assume that the weight of water discharged by dissolving glaciers and ice sheets piled in the deep lake, cracking up the ice shelf underneath it, a phenomenon known as hydrofracture. It might have significant ramifications for global climate change estimations and the likely disintegration of ice caps, according to experts from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography at the University of California, San Diego. Using photos from some kind of radar satellite they can see during the Arctic night, the researchers analyzed the disappearing lake. The water disappeared, leaving a crater-like depression throughout the ice shelf layer known as a doline that covers around 4.25 square miles. A green light laser device aboard NASA's ICESat-2 reportedly recorded the southern winter incident. This US space agency satellite sends out phototonic pulses and precisely pinpoints the reflected spot of every photon it absorbs from Earth, enabling it to detect land capsizing and rising. The lateral size of the disruptions was shown by repeating ISAT-2 rotations over the same ground tracks before and after the lake was drained. Even though the loss of water weight rendered the floating ice cap lighter, 
the ice sheet sank as much as 260 feet in the Doline cavity. It is wonderful to have ISAT2 provide us information on activities on the Arctic ice at quite a small spatial level, according to Helen Amanda Fricker, a glaciologist at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Several ice caps have witnessed increased surface cracking in recent times as global temperatures have risen and recent model forecasts for future climates foresee that pattern continuing, resulting in and even more dissolved lakes. This raises the possibility of extensive hydrofracturing that might result in ice shelves collapsing, rapid ice release from frozen Arctic ice and rising sea levels. The fate of the freshly formed doline is unknown. It could reabsorb molten water or drain into the ocean more frequently. Scientists are keeping a close eye on the situation. Scientists spot the earliest known supermassive black hole storm. A supermassive black hole, millions to billions of times larger than the Sun, can be found in the heart of many giant galaxies. Surprisingly, the mass of the black hole in the local universe is essentially proportional to the mass of the planet's center area like a bulge. This may appear to be self-evident at first examination, yet it is quite peculiar. The difference in size between galaxies and black holes is around 10 times larger. Astronomers think galaxies and black holes developed and evolved concurrently via some kind of physical connection. Premised upon the proportionate link, between the mass of two objects which are so dissimilar in size. The physical contact between black holes and galaxies can be provided by a galactic wind, a vast amount of matter being swallowed by a supermassive black hole. Due to the black hole's gravity, the matter begins to travel at a high rate, emitting strong energy that can push the surrounding matter outward. The cosmic wind is formed in this manner. This is a crucial subject since it relates to a major astronomical problem. How did galaxies and supermassive black holes evolve together? Thanks to the wide field monitoring potential of the Subaru telescope, they discovered over 100 galaxies containing supermassive black holes in the universe more than 13 billion years ago. The winds caused by the black hole were detected 800 million years after the Big Bang by researchers utilizing Chile's Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, known as ALMA. In J1243 plus 0100, a comprehensive examination of the ALMA data found a high-speed gas flow traveling at 500 km per second. This gas flow has more than enough power to blast galactic materials out of the galaxy, thus stopping star formation. The gas flow discovered in this investigation is genuinely a galactic wind, and it is the earliest known example of a galaxy with such a massive wind. The previous record holder was a galaxy that existed roughly 13 billion years ago. This discovery moves the beginning back by 100 million years. Scientists also analyzed the velocity of the calm gas in J1243 plus 0100 and calculated the magnitude of the galaxy's bulge to be around 30 billion times that of the Sun based on its gravitational equilibrium. A different method calculated the mass of the galaxy's supermassive black hole to be around 1% of that. This galaxy's bulge to supermassive black hole mass ratio is remarkably similar to the mass proportion of black holes to galaxies in the contemporary universe. This means that supermassive black holes and galaxies have been co-evolving since the universe's start less than a billion years ago. But how do you feel about these strange discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.